Hi everybody, for math today, we're gonna to be doing some review of talking about some math words that we've talked about before. More or greater and fewer or less, okay? So let's look here at my green cubes and my red cubes. Which do you think has more? I bet you said green, right? And which tower has fewer? I bet you said red, right? Now here is the million dollar question, everybody. How many more does the green have than the red? So let's look. We know that this part that's sticking up here on the more side, this part that doesn't have any red cubes to match it, shows us how many more. So there are two more green cubes than red cubes. Or we can say, that there are two fewer red cubes than green cubes. Okay, let's do another one. Are you ready? Don't look, close your eyes. Close your eyes, here we go. Voila! Did you really close your eyes? Okay, this time which has more? I bet you said red, right? Yeah and which has less or fewer. That's right, it's the green. Here is the million dollar question again. How many fewer cubes does this green have than the red? Let's look, let's put them together so they're even at the bottom. Look at this, one, two, three. I think that the green is three fewer than the red and the red has three more than the green. It can be a little confusing, can't it? But notice it's the same number. It just depends on which one we're talking about. Three more, three fewer. Three more, three fewer. Okay, so I'd like you to play a little game today. What you're going to do is you're going to look around your house and see if you can find um, a collection of two sets of things. You could use goldfish, you could use buttons, you could use Legos. You could use, the last time we did something like this, I had some friends use wrestling guys or action figures, cars, anything you can find. I'm gonna use, I have some of these little clips like the ones we use at school for your math workbooks and I have some clothes pins. And then I need some little strips of white paper. Okay, and then I need a deck of cards. Okay, and if you don't have any um, cards at home, that's okay, you can just write the numbers one through 10 and mix them up, put them in a stack. If you are gonna use the cards, just take out all the face cards, okay? You don't wanna have any jacks or kings or queens in there, you're just gonna use numbers one through 10. And remember when you're using cards that the one is an A for ace, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, everybody. I'm gonna pick a card and I got a two. Okay, so I'm going to put two clips right here. I'm going to line them up, okay? Then I'm going to draw another card. This time I got a four. So this is for my other set of things, okay? If you're using goldfish and cars, that's what you would do. Or if you're using Legos and buttons, that's what you would do. So I'm going to put my four clips. Let's see if I can make them kind of facing the same way. Three, four. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my strips of paper, well, I might need to give myself a little more space, to connect and see which has more. So clip to clothespin, clip to clothespin. Wait a minute, can I go clip? to close pin here? I can't because I can clearly see that my clips have more than my close pins. In fact, it has two more, two more clips or two fewer close pins. So that's what you're gonna do, friends. You're gonna draw the cards to show your two sets and you're gonna tell whoever is working with you, your mom and your dad or your Grammy or your brother or your sister, tell them 
do this several times, set it up and tell how many more and how many fewer you got of um, each time you set up your sets of items. Okay, that's your challenge for today. We'll see you tomorrow.